Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today we're going to use these to make the whiskey smash. But first, this. So let's get into the history of the whiskey smash. Now the whiskey smash was first written about in Jerry Thomas's 1862 book, How to Mix Drinks or the Bond and Bond's Guide. Now this classic drink falls between a whiskey sour on one side and a mint julep on the other. And it is considered part of the julep family. And in his 1887 edition of his book, Jerry Thomas called the whiskey smash the julep on a small plan. Now let's fast forward to 1888 and barman Harry Johnson, unlike Thomas, addresses the smash directly as being a separate cocktail from a julep. Now the smash also makes an appearance in the 1930s Savoy cocktail book. And it's included under the umbrella of juleps and the smash as listed as a variation on the theme. Now Albert McMurray describes the drink as minty and sour and I don't know thirst quenching. It certainly doesn't contain any of whiskey's violence. Personally, I don't think whiskey is violent. I kind of like it. So let's get into making a whiskey smash. So the first thing we need is our mixing glass. Okay, I'm just gonna put this right here for now because one of the things we also need is six to eight leaves of mint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those are really small leaves, so I got another couple of big ones here, I'll take them. So I might as well have a little bit of extra mint to go with it. So you got that there, and what we're going to do is we're going to give it a bit of a spank, because everything's good with a little bit of a spank. All right, and I gave it a slight roll, and all we're doing is just breaking the surface. And what this is doing is allowing the aromatics, aromatics and the oils of the mint to come out. We don't want to actually break the cells, because the mitochondria is very bitter. The next thing we need is lemon. Okay, We need about four wedges. So I like to cut the edges off the, leg, the uh, lemon and I'm going to cut it in half and we're going to cut this in four sections. And by doing this I get my wedges. But I'm also going to cut this in half because this will make it easier to put into my glass it will also uh, break these down just a little bit easier. But we also need two cubes of sugar. Some people will use a uh, simple syrup. Some people will use a combination of simple syrup and a cube depending upon their preferences. And again, it is based on your preference, right? The next thing we need, of course, is half an ounce of a simple syrup. And I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup here. And you want to just pour that in very, very nicely. The next thing we're going to need is two ounces of bourbon. Now I received, we're using Old Bargetown uh, Kentucky bourbon here. And this was given to me by a friend of mine when he was uh, down in the US. And he said, David, this will be perfect for you to try. looks good so far it smells good I just can't wait to tuck into this when this is done okay if you think I should use a different bourbon put it down in the uh, comments down below please so what we're going to do is we're going to muddle this and we're going to muddle this hard because what we also want to do is we want to break up our cube but we want to make sure that we are bruising the peel of the lemon because that's where we're going to get not only our our juices but we're gonna get our oils from that and our aromatics okay so this will mix these up really really nicely okay, just wipe that down now I need a little bit of ice here in my cocktail tin and what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack a little bit of ice into this because I can right and I like ice crack because it gives it just a different little Whoops. And you know what? 
practice cracking your ice so you don't do what I did over there, right? And it just allows the ice to break down a little bit and it creates more surface area. So it will, the drink will actually start to cool down faster. So we'll just pour this in, give it a smack on top. And we're gonna shake this. Now, I like to shake it straight up and down. Uh, you can shake it on a horizontal plane if you want, but you don't wanna shake it in a weird wobbly mixture because you want the up and down motion or the horizontal motion to break the ice and cool it down. So we'll shake this for about 10 seconds or so. Give that a bit of that. It's a bit of a workout. And ideally you want to shake your drinks hard because you really want to break that ice down. You really want to dilute it a little bit and you don't need to do it more than 10 minutes. So the next thing we need here is a rocks glass. And some people will pour the entire drink ice and all in there, but I like my drink to be strained. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of nice chunks of ice here. Give us a gorgeous look. And I'm going to double strain it because I don't want anything in there. Again, your preference is involved. If you like yours to have the fruit in there, put it in the comments down below. If you like it nicely strained and double strained and juice free, put it in the, drink, put it in the uh, comments below for me. It's all about our preferences. Remember, the drink that you have in your hand, if it's the drink you like, that's all that matters. And this will get it the little chunks of ice and the little floaty bits of mint that you may not want. Okay. So the next thing I need is a little bit of mint that I'm going to use here as a uh, as a garnish. So we're going to put it in there and it's going to create it very much like a bouquet. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we spank the mint slightly because again, it releases those aromatics and the natural oils. So let's see how it tastes and smells. Well, it's good. I, I can smell the mint right off because it's, of course it's right there under my nose going up my nostrils. I can smell a little bit of the lemon. I don't really smell the bourbon at all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is good. You gotta like a good mint sm <laughs> whiskey smash. I call that a mint smash. This is definitely one of my A-list drinks. I really like it. I think you will too. Let me know down in the uh, comments down below. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the method and the ingredients in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way, every time we place up a new video, you will be notified. But if you didn't like this video, you didn't find me fun and entertaining or informative, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. Now you're gonna take your wedge. One, two, three, four. I'll cut it in half just to make it a little bit easier. And I need to stop that. Johnson, unlike Thomas, addresses the smash directly as being separate. Stop it. The making of the whiskey smash. Take two. Yeah, take two. You heard the person behind the camera. That's Aaron scolding me about how to do my job.